What's up guys, Redis Rations here with you again. Today we're gonna to be checking out an MRE, but this is not a military meal ready to eat. It is a commercial XMRE. XMRE has been around for a good long while now, and they are one of the leading companies when it comes to commercially available ration options. I've never actually had one before, so I'm looking forward to checking this one out. Before we crack into this meal kit to see what's included, I wanna remind you guys to give this video a thumbs up if you like seeing these ration reviews here on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my future content, and let me know down in the comments what ration you would like to see me review next. This is an XMRE meal ready to eat individual. They have the menu posted on the back here. Number five, chili and macaroni coming in at 1200 calories. The outside bag looks almost identical to a US military MRE. However, this plastic seems to be a little bit more thin. They tout a pillable seal, so let's give that a shot. Well, it ripped a little bit, but opened all the same. Firstly, we have a beverage base powder, lemon lime. This appears to be the same type of beverage powder from a legit military MRE. A one ounce package of cheese spread, a Bill's Brew instant coffee. Sometimes these are found in US milk cold weathers. A trans fat free white wheat snack bread. A chocolate chip cookie, TFF. Can't complain about that. Another beverage based powder, milk chocolate cocoa beverage powder. Three drinks in one meal kit's pretty impressive, especially if you compare this to other civilian rations, most of which don't have any drinks at all, or maybe if you're lucky, one. We actually have two wet pack retweets in here. This one is black beans in spiced sauce, I believe. And then our chili and macaroni. The day code on this is the 142nd day of 2018. Every item that I've looked at in this ration is dated 2018, so I'm gonna say this is a 2018 XMRE. They include a little leaflet, those are seasoned black beans, and then a sleeve for the main entree, chili and macaroni. There's also a small accessory kit. In that we have a spoon, a napkin, a salt and a pepper, and a moist towelette. Judging by the amount of food included in this ration, I'm already pretty impressed with XMRE, but the true test will be the taste test. So let's get this plated up. Unfortunately, this ration pack does not include a ration heater, so in order to heat things Things up, I had to toss the main entree into some boiling water. While we're waiting on that, we'll check some of this other stuff out though. Guess we'll start with our milk chocolate cocoa beverage powder. Now we are right in the middle of a blazingly hot Georgia summer. And the last thing that I want right now is a hot chocolate. This drink mix can be prepared with either cold or hot water. So without a doubt, we're going down the cold water path this go around. This package does seem to be delaminating just a little bit. This does have a resealable Ziploc. Really can't see much all the way down in the pouch. To make things just a little better, I do think we're going to add our Bill's Brew freeze dried coffee to that as well. Coffee powder looks perfect. In the pouch we go. A hot coffee or hot cocoa doesn't sound good at all, but an iced mocha on the other hand sounds pretty darn appealing. We'll put about six ounces of cold water in there. Squeeze a little of the air out, zip the top, fold it over a couple times, and this is going to require a buttload of shaking. I gave that such a vigorous shaking that that delamination has become even more apparent. Oh man, that looks great. Looks like it thickened up just a little bit. It's not the best smelling hot cocoa I've run across in an MRE. I can still pick up on a little bit of that coffee aroma though. Let's give it a taste. Mmm sweet. It is a little bit thicker than your average water. I can still taste a little bit of that coffee background. The predominant flavor is, of course, your hot chocolate mix. Being mixed up cold like this, it is very akin to a chocolate milk. With the added coffee, I would consider this a solid iced mocha. Even though we don't have ice, maybe chilled mocha would be the more appropriate term. That is going down very quickly. It's easy to drink being nice and cold. One more sip. Cheers. That was a great way to start the meal. Well, we just killed two drinks in one go, but we do still have one more drink mix to prepare, and that is our beverage-based powder lemon lime. This just so happens to be my absolute favorite MRE beverage-based powder. Powder itself is a little bit yellow. Pour that in the glass. It's knocking up a dust cloud. 12 ounces of water to this. And now it's quite green. It has these really cool streaks of blue running through it as the powder is dissolving. It smells super lemony and limey. I've always been a fan of citrus flavors anyway, so anything lemon lime is usually right up my alley. It has some persistent chunky bits in the bottom. Let's bust into this cookie. A little bit of melted chocolate in there. That is a big cookie though. No desiccant pack. It's almost as big as my whole hand. That is a massive cookie. And our white wheat snack bread. That's a little bit darker than I was expecting. We do have a do not eat in there, which we will not eat. As soon as I broke the seal on that package, 
I can smell wheat snack bread. It is such a distinctive aroma. This cheese spread feels a little bit separated, so we're gonna give it a good hard kneading before cracking into it. We'll cut the corner on that because like Gundog says, the smaller the hole, the more control. And that is darkened a little bit. I'm thinking that this ration might have saw extreme heat at some point. Being from 2018, I would expect all these items to still be in very good condition. But what I'm seeing is a ration that is showing its age. I doubt this would have been one of those rations that holds up 20 or 30 years. Give a little taste of our cheese spread there. A little dark, but it'll probably be all right. Yeah, it's okay, but this is already giving me a little bit of that old cheese taste. Completely edible still, but reminiscent of the flavor that you get from a cheese spread from the late 2000s. Not nearly as fresh as I would expect from a ration packed in 2018. We'll get a bit of our white wheat snack bread here. It's looking very dried out. Give that a taste by itself. Seems fresh enough, but it's more dry than it should be. Squeeze a little line of cheese spread on that and give those two a try together. The cheese helps with the dryness of the bread, but neither of these items really taste that great. This entree really ballooned up while heating. Super swollen looking. That smells really nice though, and looks pretty good. Ye old MRE Chili Mac. In US MREs, this is a highly considered menu, a troop favorite for sure, and one that has never let me down personally. Seasoned black beans. Can't say I've ever had this one before. There's a lot of liquid in there. Mixing these two items together might have been the way to go. These black beans smell really good. They have sort of a chili, cilantro, maybe even lime kind of smell going on. Really enticing, my mouth is watering. So this chili macaroni, we have our large elbow macaroni noodles. Those are pretty soft, but not as soft as some pasta that I've encountered coming in retort pouches. We have a lot of what are almost like meatballs. The meat chunks are so big. I'm sure that's a mix of textured vegetable protein and maybe a little bit of real beef in there as well. And there's a light coating of tomato sauce on everything. No visible vegetables of any kind, except for maybe this one sliver of onion. Looks pretty decent. XMRE Chili Mac, down the hatch. It's very tomato sauce forward. Everything is very soft, the meat's soft, which isn't really a bad thing. The pasta is very soft. I'm not really picking up on any heat. It does have that sort of distinct canned chili kind of taste to it. If you can imagine sort of what a canned chili's like, mixed with a little bit of like Chef Boardie type pasta, that's basically what you have with this one. I appreciate how much meat is in it though, and it seems super fresh, so you can't complain about that. Now, as far as these beans go, it looks like there's more sauce than black beans. There are red pepper flakes in this. I appreciate that, but I don't really see anything else hiding out in that sauce. These smell fantastic. I'm hoping they taste just as good. A little bit tangy. I do think there's some lime in there. Instantly you pick up on the chili powder. That's followed up with sort of an onion powder, garlic powder kind of flavor. And then on the back end, you get a little heat from that red pepper. This is a good side item. I wish I had a little more beans for the amount of sauce, but flavors wise, they got it right with this one. That's really, really good. I think these two items are a perfect complement. I'm glad they included both in this ration. So I got some of the chili mac here and a healthy bit of the bean sauce with a couple beans on top. I think combining these together is gonna be the winner. Oh yeah. The chili mac was a little bland by itself, but you add in a little bit of heat and a little bit of tanginess of those beans. These two things are a match made in heaven. I think the next step is to bring the wheat snack bread into the mix. So we'll adorn that with the healthy pile of chili mac, put a little of our beans and sauce on top of that, and a squeeze of aged cheddar cheese. The bread is still really thick and hard to get through. It almost overshadows the rest of the mix. The cheese is the most predominant flavor though. I think that would have been better on a cracker. Eh, it's not bad the way it is though. I think maybe just cheese straight on the main with a little bit of beans might be a better way to go. Down the hatch. Mm -hmm. You still get the cheesy sharpness, a little bit of extra creaminess and salt, but those flavors all meld very well. Let's wash that down with a bit of our lemon lime beverage here. So green. Mm. Sweet, tangy, not too overly artificial tasting. The lemon lime is always one of the best beverage-based powders that you will find in an MRE. I guess we should use our salt and pepper since they are included. A little on both. And we'll go in for one last taste here with a little added salt and black pepper. The salt made it just that much better. I'm very happy with the entrees for this meal. Super tasty. Think we've made it to dessert time here. 
We have our massive chocolate chip cookie. This cookie does smell a little weird. It has sort of a bug spray chemical kind of aroma going on. And it appears to have some odd oily bits sort of on the top and on the bottom cracked into it. Oh, very crumbly. Tons of chocolate in there. The chocolate to cookie ratio is just about perfect. Let's try it out. Crunchy. That bug spray kind of flavor does carry through to the tasting. I appreciate how much chocolate is in this, but that kind of weird chemical flavor is kind of ruining it for me. The closest thing I could compare the flavor of this to would be like a really giant Chips Ahoy. This may be a couple years past the expiration date. Not meaning that it's stale or gone bad. It's still fun. It's just developed a weird off taste that I'm sure wasn't originally there when this thing was packed. The more that I'm eating, the more it's growing on me. At this point, I'd say I actually like it. And that was my very first XMRE experience. And I must say, I'm pretty impressed. Now, everything included in this particular meal kit is the same kind of product that you will find in a legit military MRE. Some XMRE meals do have some items specifically packed by XMRE. And I don't know if those items would hold up quite as well as these military ones do. Typically when it comes to civilian rations like this one, you get a far less comprehensive meal kit than compared to a military MRE. But in the case of XMRE, they put together a really solid kit that has basically everything you would need to make a darn good meal. Thanks so much for checking the video out. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. That really does help it out with the Google algorithm. If you know someone else that might enjoy this review, please be sure to share it because that helps the channel grow more than anything else. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my future rational review content, both military and civilian, and I will catch you guys in the next video. See you then. Peace.